Hey, gonna cut some drawers on the CNC machine and for that I need to reattach the vertical table. Um, I removed the vertical table so I could do some um, house cleaning and upgrades on the end of the machine. Um, basically just stiffened it up to keep it from moving. Um, take as much uh, flex out of the, uh, the entire assembly as I could. And um, so with that, um, here it is. All right, so let's try this again. So here we're gonna measure the distance between the slots and the, the rail and the T-slot and um, kind of cinch up some nuts in the back of that um, the mounting panel. Slide it in, tighten it up a little bit and just get it to stay. And this is all in preparation to um, tuning it up so it's um, in line with the y-axis and square to the table. Do a couple of quick checks there, see where things stand, and jog the machine around now. And right now there is a um, quarter-inch round bit in the A-axis there, which is lowered down to the, um, the uh, vertical surface. Take off the dust shoe and come down and use that quarter inch diameter shaft in there to gauge off the edge of the uh, vertical surface. So that way the edge, we're gonna wanna have it um, as close to parallel as um, practical with the Y axis. And you'll see here, we get it super close. Let me see what we're talking about. That's the one side, pull it around, go to the other side. A up, and we'll go back down. A little bit further, we'll go beyond, and then we'll bring A back down. it up, creep it up, okay so there it is. So we know that this front edge is in line to the travel of the y-axis. Perfect, so now I just need to square it up in, in relationship to the bed. What is this? So I have some shims, some little wedges to stick between the bottom edge of the, um, the T-slot there, and the top stays in. You know, we know the top is already um, where it needs to be, that top edge, and the bottom needs to kick out all the way down at the bottom about a quarter of an inch. So, you know, halfway up, it's an eighth of an inch, half, half of that, it's sixteenth of an inch. So we're probably going to bring it out about thirty-second of an inch. Um, more or less, and that's right at the bottom of the rail. So even with those two screws being only two inches apart, it, it will work pretty well. And then once that is square, these are my um, vertical pieces that are So this is the last part of the vertical fence, and that's the um, this vertical guide and some uh, hold downs, some quick hold downs that you know I, they were something I bought from Amazon. It was the manufacturer Incra. Um, they're pretty easy. They have a quarter twenty. Um, bolt that goes down through it that I can screw right into the rich light. And the rich light, I haven't tapped all of those holes. I just tap them when I need it because there are, I don't know, a few hundred holes right there. And I can, you can tap it with hand, by hand, or um, I use a drill 
and with a little bit of a slippage on the clutch and that makes it easy to come in and out and um, makes it quick and practical and then so the drawers they need I believe last time I did this it's been a while but the last one or you see there's the drill with the um, the tap in it but the drawers need to register off of each side um, and I, I don't think for the box joints I'm going to need to do that but just in case I'm setting up this other this other guide while I'm in uh, setup mode and then when I need it it's there um, for anything that'll fit between those two guides and um, yeah once this is up that's where it's that's where it sits and there's really no need to go back and change anything that's that well um, ready to cut some drawers